In Genesis 1, we're told that God created humans in God's own image. And then God said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and the beasts of the field. And then in Genesis 2, in the second creation story, we get a glimpse of what dominion looks like. God created Adam and Eve, placed them in the Garden of Eden, and then he told them to, to tend it and to keep it. They were to be like gardeners, the caretakers of the garden. That's the task and privilege that we're given as humans. We are to be like gardeners and landscapers and forest rangers. That's what it means to have dominion over the creation. It is to be caretakers, stewards of this beautiful world. I think it's something like uh, what the people do who work at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. If you've been there, you know how beautiful it is. You know the flowers, the trees, the bushes, the marshes, the wild grasses. There's also the wildlife, the birds, the fish, the ducks, all the animals that make that habitat their home. And the employees there at the Arbor Arboretum are charged with the responsibility of making and keeping that ecosystem thriving and flourishing. Catherine Hayhoe is a world-class climate scientist. She teaches at Texas Tech, and she's also the chief scientist for the Nature Conservancy. And in addition, she is a believing, practicing Christian. She grew up as part of the Plymouth Brethren, and her husband is a professor at Texas Tech, but he's also the pastor of a local church. Well, she just published her newest book, and it's titled Saving Us, A Climate Scientist's Case for Hope and Healing in a Divided World. And in the book, she lays out her reasons for having hope. She says that it's not too late, that the future is in our hands. We can still alter the trajectory when it comes to the warming of our planet. And she says this is not blind optimism or wishful thinking. It is, she says, a rational hope. So I invite you to check out her work. Go to her website, watch her videos, read her books and articles, listen to her interviews, because I believe that her insights will give you hope, hope for our future, hope for our planet, and hope for the generations yet to come.